everybody welcome to sprinkle money how are you today we are going to look at csr the company that builds australia pretty much i, I think that's that's the way i kind of look at them anyway before i say anything the usual disclaimer everyone if i give advice i'm really really sorry i don't intend to give advice i'm just telling you what i have in my portfolio and what i'm doing with money and uh as as per usual with anything on my channel please go and see a financial advisor do your own due diligence and uh do not act on anything i say i am just here telling you probably some incorrect information about all these companies i'm really sorry to everyone Anyway, let's get going. So today uh, we turn our focus to CSR. It is a company that has been around for a very, very, very long time. They do building materials for Australia and um, <clears throat> they've been doing it for quite a long time and they've been doing it very, very well. So who CSR actually is, is a company that derives 76% of their revenue from building materials that you and I both know and love if you visit Bunnings. Um, about 15% of their revenue comes from property and 9% they have a sort of an interest in aluminium. I always thought they were a sugar company, but yeah, that's, that, that's a different thing anyway. CSR has the ticker CSR on the ASX and I have about $8,000, very close to $8,000 of this particular stock on my portfolio. It is up 10%. So it's been a good little earner um, in a sort of you know good good little price increase for how long have i had it about six seven months now i think six months so up ten percent they are quite a large company 2.4 billion dollars worth so not too bad on the asx uh, they are 167th on the asx in terms of market cap so they just sort of snuck into that top 200 so if you've tuned into my channel you'll know that i'm looking for some couple of real basic ticks and CSR, I'm glad to announce, does all of these things. Uh, very, very impressed with this company. And I have held it in the past and I've still got it now. So um, they, at the moment, are currently doing a 6.6% dividend yield, which is not too bad at all. I mean, it's a, a lot, lot better than a lot of the banks. Um, and it's been quite stable, I think, over the... Uh, you know, over the last period, there was one t one sort of little hiccup during COVID, but lots of companies decided to play it safe. But apart from that, it's a good div yield. 6.6% is not bad at all. Uh, pleasingly, they also do franking, 100% franked, to tick, to tick, to tick for the retirees, tick, 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 or if you're on your way to retirement, and a DRP. They participate in DRP. So congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, CSR. For doing that it uh, it means that it's going to be in a whole bunch of uh, portfolios it's going to be in a whole bunch of managed funds it's going to be in a whole bunch of ETFs because DRP um, and franking and a good yield it's a nice stable sort of um, you know it, it, there's lots of good signs there all right let's break down why it's in my portfolio the first thing that jumped out at me about CSR is that they are they continue to support Australian industry and they have continued growth. So if you have a look at this the, the stock chart, you can see that the 10 year chart, you can see that leading up to uh, COVID, they were going really quite strongly. Um, the price was going up and you can see on that uh, the green line showing that there was a general upward trend over the years. Now, if you're going to put this into your portfolio, like I have, um, it's it, it's a long-term proposition, obviously. Um, they're not um, huge dividend payers. It's um, it's 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 a long-term hold. Obviously, during COVID, why have I got my seatbelt on? <laughs> there we go. Obviously, during COVID, the share price dropped, uh, as I think almost all of the ASX pretty much dropped. And then the recovery has happened. And now, if you also look at this second section here, um, the second little arrow, you can see that uh, with the interest rate rises, there's been a slight little bit of panic and the price has dropped. So at the moment, I still feel CSR is a very, very good buy if you haven't got it in your portfolio because um, I, I definitely think that it's at a discount. If you look at the upward trend that was disrupted by COVID and then the recovery has been really awesome, um, 
and it's just it's just a sort of sort of stumbling but we all know we might have a couple more interest rate rises and then we're away again all right so i feel that this particular sector um in, in the Australian landscape is going to continue just growing and growing and growing. 76% of their revenue is from materials and there's a whole bunch of com a whole bunch of products that uh, we know and love in Australia. All the basics for building the actual houses are there. Um, Giprock, I mean tell me a house that doesn't have Giprock in it these days, they own Giprock. Um, Hebel, so Hebel Blocks and PGH Bricks. So basically they've got a big chunk of the market in terms of um, providing the good quality, good high quality um, products for building homes. So that's not going to uh, subside anytime soon. And just recently, so 76% of their revenues from materials and over from the previous year, so from 2022, to half year 2022 to half year 2023, it's gone up 15%. Their revenues improved. So even though we've had this sort of tricky, I guess, market conditions, they still have improved uh, their revenue. So that's looking really good. Now, sneakily, and I didn't know about this about the company until I looked it up, but sneak, very sneakily, this company is kind of turning into a little bit of property um, mogul, you know, growthy, like improving their property portfolio. So I just told you that their, their materials has gone up 15%. Well, their property, the section of their, um, of their revenue has just gone up 318%. All right, so obviously that's been driven by the um, uh, by the house price prices here in Australia, which have just gone through the roof. Um, um, but yeah, so that's fifteen percent is quite a big chunk, I guess, of their operations um, in, ter in terms of their like their, their revenue. Um, so it's you know who knows where that could go. It could it could keep growing, and growing, and growing. They seems to they seem to be having a lot of success in that field. So. Um, we might know CSR as more of a sort of a property company coming, you know, going down the line a little bit. That makes sense, I guess, in a way that those two are linked because their building materials obviously are going to be <laughs> used in the, in the property sector. So why not have that um, sort of intermingling of those two things? Aluminium is their sort of little tiny little side project, I'm going to call it. Uh, it's still, still 9% of their... Um, operations and their revenue so they actually had a drop in a half year um half year revenue of about a million dollars um it's i mean it is what it is i think aluminium at the moment is facing some price issues so that's you know to be expected when the price of aluminium is lower or there's the demand is um, obviously dropping so at the moment aluminium sector for CSR is steady-ish, I'm going to say. Okay, so let's just quickly bring this thing home. So continual growth, I think, is kind of going to be a bit of a given considering the performance over the last six months. Um, the recovery from COVID has been really positive. Um, the share price is lower at the moment. Uh, it is, again, on the way up, but the interest rates, I think, has had an impact on this sector and um, I would expect the price to have been you know, a lot lower and the recovery to be a lot slower which really as uh, you know showing how strong the company is and I think it, there's a lot of uh, positive signs for the future as per usual this is just my thoughts <laughs> don't take it as gospel um, but yeah look let me know what you think have you been looking at CSR are you looking at uh, maybe purchasing some if you are please write below let me know your thoughts why have you bought it if you've made it this far thank you for watching i have been having a little bit of a break from the channel but it's still growing slowly um, i'm up to i think it's 48 subscribers so 44 48 i don't even know uh, so very slow little growth but i've had a bit of a break i'm being very busy so um i would really appreciate if you subscribed and uh, supported the channel. So I look forward to hearing from you, hopefully, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.